All right, so here we go. This is part two. Uh, sorry about the confusion. I'll get it right next time. Cheers. So let's try one out. First thing we're going to do is multiply x plus 4 by x plus 4. In other words, x plus 4 squared. Here we have it. We're going to do this um, by rewriting it in this form. Or we can also do it this way. We can take our rule and rewrite it as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which we'll be using our uh, x and our 4. So let's take a look at what this, how this plays out when we do our multiplication. Does everybody know what's going to go in this square? Of course, x squared. And then our next uh, multiplication will be the outer terms. I said we were doing the FOIL. So we're going to multiply x times 4, and we get 4x. And then with the FOIL, remember what's next? I for inner terms, and we get 4x. And then L for last, and the last term in each expression is a 4, so it's 16. So this is what we end up with. Now, as you already know, we've got to combine like terms. And that would be the 4x and the 4x. And we have x squared plus 8x plus 16. Notice here, two of the exact same. This is very important. Now we're going to do it using this method. Ah, there's our two. Remember, on the previous slide, we had two of the same thing. So we're going to multiply by two here. A is the first term, B is the second term. So here we go, X is going to go in place of the A, and 4 is going to go in place of the B in this equation. So let's plug those in right here, right down here, we're going to plug those in. So what are we going to have for the A squared? That's right, it's going to be X squared, right? And here we're going to have 2 times X times 4, and over here we're going to have 4 squared. What we're going to end up with, after we simplify, is x squared plus 8x plus 16. What do you think about that? Same answer as we got on the previous slide, but we didn't have to use the box method. We just plugged in our replacement values. Now, let's try this one. Very similar. We just have a few more terms here, and it might look a little scary, but it's just as easy. Right, so we're going to plug 3x in for A, we're going to plug in 2y for B. And what we end up with is 3x squared plus 2x, 2 times 3x times 2y, because remember we used the 2, our A was 3x, our B was 2y. 3x, 2y, and we got our 2 here. And then we're going to square the last term, which was 2y, 2y squared. We simplify, we get 9x squared, we get 12xy, and we get 4y squared. Remember, this is supposed to be an exponent. So this is 3x squared. That's where we get the 9x squared. So try this one out. Go ahead and pause. Give this a try. Try to use the method we just used with the shortcut. I'm sure you've already finished this because you repulsed it and now you've got me going again. So that means you're done. And with any luck, you managed to get number four. If you did not get number four, please work the problem again.